make baseline defense. This is something that I think most high school wrestlers don't do very well, uh, especially in this day and age with all the funk and stuff. A lot of guys are resorting to this kind of thing. And baseline good defense isn't being used as much as it should be. And game guys are bailing out, or they go to first line, and they bail on, out on it very quickly because they don't, they're not seeing any improvement in the position. Uh, again, it's a mentality. You know, like Coach Hahn was saying with the front headlock, staying with it, staying with it. Same thing with baseline defense when a guy gets in deep. I've got to stay with it. I've got to be more stubborn than the guy that's in on my leg. And if you do a couple of these things that I'm going to talk about, I think you're going to see a big difference. The guys are going to have a lot harder time finishing on you. Uh, so first, we're just going to work on single leg, okay? Guy shoots a single leg on me right here. What I'm looking for, what I'm looking for, number one, is hips in, okay? And by hips in, what I mean is I'm drop, here, just cut back a little bit there, okay? I'm drop my hip into him, and I'm pointing my toe backwards, okay? I don't want my toe on the mat. Every time my toe touches the mat, he can, he can suck my leg right back in. When my toe's in the air, he can't suck it in as easily. Or at, or at all. There's nowhere for it to go. Okay, there's nothing planted there. So I'm pointing my toe, dropping my hip inward. Okay, number two, I want to get this head down. I'm always finding the head. A lot of guys like to do cross faces and things like that. Those can be effective, but I think shoving the head down is always much more effective. It makes this guy weak. What have we been talking about all week and went on our shots? What do we say? Keep your head up, right? We wouldn't be saying that if it wasn't important. So defensively, I want to get this guy's head down. Put him in that position, okay? We, we've been saying head up, butt down, head up, butt down. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to lift his butt up. And I do that by, by grabbing the waist here, okay? Just kind of underneath the waist with an underhand grip. And I'm going to lift on the waist, shove down on the head, and point my toe. Letting my laces fall to the mat. Okay, I want to avoid putting my toe in the mat at all costs. Okay, stay a little stronger. So he shoots, right here. See this position? Look at how I'm straining my leg backwards. And when I do that, when I'm really fighting that leg to straighten it backwards and point my toe, my hips naturally crunch into him. And you see what's happening to his position. He's getting crunched down to the mat. And when I add the head and the waist, it's even stronger, okay? So now once I get him here, he's extended. Again, I let my laces stay on the mat, okay? Now from here, I'm gonna square up. By square up, I mean I take my opposite hip and get it down to the mat, right here. A lot of times, guys are still strong here. They have their hands locked. Real strong, flexible guy. He's gonna keep trying to drive and suck my leg up. All I concentrate on doing is keeping my hips flat to the mat, and I'm gonna push on his knees right here. Try to, try to crawl forward and suck my leg in. I just, I stay patient here. He's getting more and more in worse position because he can't go forward. I'm blocking these knees. And I just let my hips slide back and away, back and away, back and away. And as I do it, eventually my hips are on the mat. My crotch is on the mat. And now from here, I start to look for my go behind. Okay? Looking for the ankle, looking for the butt. I look for a little handle on this side, maybe the armpit, you know, maybe the head. Again. Go down, sorry, from this side. This side. So shoot your shot, he shoots, boom, he beats me. I point my toe, straighten my legs, stay, stay stronger. Right here, okay? Head down, lift on the waist, and ride it out. He tried, now try to suck my leg in. I just ride it out, ride it out, square up, push on the knees. Now I'm in good position. This is where you have to stay patient, okay? I can't be too eager to get that spin around and give him my hits. I've got him beat, I've done all, the, all, I've done all this work, technique correct. He's beat, and now guys do this. They lift their hips up. Don't let me go behind you. Right there. See it a million times. Or this. Or you get him all the way stretched out, he's off your leg, and then you bend your leg and get him right back to him. He re-grabs it. Okay? <laughs> I've got to keep my hips down. Once he's beat, I keep my hips down and I circle. Now stop me from letting you go behind let me go behind you. <laughs> you see what I do there? I just keep chest heavy. He's in, I beat him, square up, I stay chest heavy, hips to the mat. Don't let me go behind you. Okay? I'm patient, I'm methodical, I do everything correct, and I stay in good position. Alright? I 
can't stress how important pointing the toe is. He's in on my leg, I'm pointing that toe right there. Pointing, giving him resistance. He's having to fight to hold my leg. Maybe I, sometimes I might use this hand to knock the head down first, then go, waist, ride it out, ride it out, ride it out. Square up, push on the knees. There I go, I'm looking for my goal behind. Stepping over that leg, got my takedown. All right, any questions? It's not fancy, it's not flashy, but it works. We're doing a head on the inside single right now. We'll do high crotch next, so head on the inside single. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Okay. So as he hits, immediately the first thing I do is I, I point my toe, drop my weight, and knock his head inside. Now I, 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 I cover, waist, ride it out, ride it out, square up my hips. Now if I can hear this guy still, he's still locking, I'm pushing on the hips, I just can't wiggle my hips backwards. Okay? One thing I'll do is I'll lift on this elbow and it tweaks his arm. A lot of times it gets that lock off. I like to grow up, go in this armpit anyway. As I go behind it, like this hand to grab the thigh, the hamstring, it's a good grip, and this hand in the armpit. And now I just push my chest down into him. I do this and it just crunches real hard. Okay, it doesn't, doesn't feel good to this guy. But if he's still hanging on and I can't get behind, I'll take this elbow and I'll just lift on him. You feel that? Yeah. To start to hurt? Okay. I'm taking a shoulder in a direction that it doesn't really want to go. Okay, and that a lot of times will get him to break his grip, and I still have to continue to get my hips away. I lift on that. See, if as long as my hips are on top of his head or higher, he can keep his hands locked because his arms are bent. The more I get my hips back, 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 and off of his head, he can't keep his hands locked. I'm too far away. Okay? So that's kind of the theory that I'm getting down and off. And I'm always looking to, as I go off, create the angle so I can get grab that backside and score. Okay, so now high crotch, very similar. Shoots high crotch. It doesn't really change. Point my toe, drop my weight, hand comes to the head, waist. There it is. Try to finish. Just there. And now that's what's going to happen. See, see what happened there? See how I fell? I let go of the head and post. This is very common right here. This is what's going to happen a lot of times. He's going to try to kind of go in slow motion here. He's driving, 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 and I keep dropping my weight, I have to drop and post. <laughs> See that? Because if I don't, I'm going to fall to my hip. I don't want to fall to my hip. Once I hit here, what do you think I do next? Square up. Opposite hip goes down to the mat. This is where these moves are a little different. I don't come over the top of the head. I'm going to square this hip up right there into the ribs. I'll, I'll go right back to the head, find the head again. Keep walking my toes back and behind. Now I look for these ankles back here. Ankles. I can go to a butt drag and get behind. So under the arm, go behind. When I said butt drag, so I meant. So here, here. He's trying to finish. He's trying to finish. I'm riding it out. I'm stubborn. I'm not going to give up. I keep right. Close. There it is. Hard square. And when I hard square, look at that. See how it starts to lose the grip? Now, I don't try to go behind yet. He's still got my leg. Okay. I've got to continue to get my hips back. Catch an ankle back here. Catch an ankle. Can't stress how important pushing the head is, guys.